Mm, hello folks and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online again and uh, on the PS5 here we are it's the Hollow City Hollow City which is in Cold Harbor and Cold Harbor is one of the external realms it's a Daedric realm and various external realms the Deadlands Fargrave, Clockwork City, and in time there'll probably be many more. I imagine they'll be adding more. So I'm here to visit my Cold Harvest real estate in the Hollow City. Now I'll travel to the outside of it so you don't get to see what. The hollow city looks like. Eventually, when I remember what I'm doing. Cold Harbor. Whoa. So, the Hollow City. And it's still the weekend, so there's still the vendor. I don't like kitty cat. The luxury vendor. Still here. Yeah. Sanil Thera, what have you got for us this weekend? Hmm, <laughs> that's quite gross, isn't it? Mm. Mm, no, there's nothing much I want. Lit, unlit. Extinguished, lit. Extinguished. No, I'm not impressed. Oh, look at that, 5k for time dolls. Soul gem. Nah, sorry, won't be buying anything this weekend. I do quite like the Hollow City. It has that sort of imperial look about it. It's nearly always quite dark here. Yeah. Okay. I'm wearing my mummy outfit. I purchased at the Halloween event. I want my mummy. Right. So here we go. Cool Tapas Real Estate housing. And what I've done with it. Because normally it's a blank canvas, it's a, a floating plateau. Nothing but bare rock. So this would be it. Only there'll be more trees, yeah. I've stripped out most of the trees and rocks, lots of spiky rocks. Taking most of them away. I'm only using a couple in my construction. So what would you do with this place? Because it's one of the few houses, really big houses or, or housing that you can buy with 
in-game money. With gold. You just buy it with gold. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, there's no way down from here. Every way down is deadly. And you have to use no choice but to use the portal. So, what would you do in this place? What I've done with it is this. Strange looking structure, you might say. So it's a, a castle. Or a very big house. Very gothic. Spooky. Might have been okay for Halloween. So this is how you see it when you come in, first come in. Grand entrance. So some of these trees are original to the site. I've just moved them around a bit. There's the water feature here, but I wanted there to be a semblance of a moat here. of a bridge across a mucky pond a moat in the front doors That's where the hollow the yeah the hollow city is. You can see where it is relative to everything else. Far cold harbor, yes. Put this lot of wine yet. Do as he so as well. So this entire structure I built over a couple of years, I think. Stable the horses here, well, various mounts. This is reception, the reception desk. We've got some crafting stations here. Necessaries. Yep. Property steward is my banker. Nice paintings. Mm, 
Barclays. I do like the fireplaces. Wine press. And the bathing suite. Various tubs that one very clear there we can uh, recline in. Splash around in. So we can have a shower or a bath here. Extent of the, the plateau. Hmm, what's up there? Strange place for seats. Might as well continue around. Ah, look at a restaurant here. I can't remember this table service here. Don't remember at all. I've used quite a few of the trophies as tables to save my build budget. Some of them are quite frankly a bit ugly, but they make good tables. The plaques that the heads are mounted on quite useful tables. Characters path to here. I don't know if I used to character path. Ah, oh, here's Mary enjoying this room. Shut out all the noise from out there. So the place has a definite gothic quality.
can grow a bit of garden at the back. A small garden. Quite a few rooms here. Suites and bedrooms. Oh, what's this? That'll be the arena. Go in the, in the door. So you can get into the arena a couple of ways. This is one of them. This is where the fighters come into the arena. Mm, we've got some past dummies here. your fighting skills, your DPS. So the arena itself is in a classical style. I like a lot of classical structures that have survived in length of time. They get altered, repurposed, reused, added to, changed. That's my pretension here, that it's been around for a few hundred, if not a thousand odd years. Many, been many alterations and additions, including all the later, more medieval Gothic stuff. I've added to it over the years as things have become available. The stained glass and so on. Many seats. That's down, down into that bedroom where you saw Mary. That's her there, there's Mary. Lots of chairs and have a seat. You can view the, the fighting in the arena. There's a restaurant and it's bar. It's quite a big place. It is pretty much finished now. I don't think I can add much more to it. Yep, 700 of 700. <sighs> mm, room for maybe... Maybe a few more collectible furnishings and five more special furnishings. 
And that's it really. It's finished complete. The add anything else I need to take stuff away. Here we are back in reception. Area again. Going up here. Got a secret treasure. Treasury here. That's the entrance down below there. That's my treasure. the reception again. And going up. We've got the, the grand hall. It's like an audience hall for Whoever is the boss here, whoever rules. The hotel manager. <laughs> or the vampire lord, or whoever it is who runs the place, owns it. And of course, they're also emperor, This is the imperial throne. Sitting side saddle. I can go into those apartments as well. Up a staircase there. some apartments on this side as well. style room, this one with uh, two beds. Well, I see two beds here and another one over here. Double bed over here. Gives you fire. doors. And this just goes up to a view, a viewing point. You can look down on the arena. Yeah. More apartments over there and a 
an apartment up there as well. I could have done a lot more, but as you can see, I've filled my my budget, my allotted 700 items, completely full. Bar restaurant again, and going up the stairs beside the waterfalls. I would have liked to make this place a bit more creepy, more Halloween-y. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. I'm so much involved in making things look nice. This is a little... Not a bathroom, but a, just a little... wash hand basin. A changing room, really. We can freshen up. This. A couple of beds. So another large suite. This one has a balcony looking over the gardens. I can mess the lights over there. Lights on the fountain. That's Alina. And up. This is also quite a, a grand room. Two beds. These topmost apartments are using the Eleanor greenhouses and the Eleanor style fireplaces. I do like them. And finally, up to the topmost bedroom. I suppose it would technically be the master bedroom. Fine view of the arena from up here. Quite Spartan. Little wash hand basin here. Mm 
Mutsuta and Orc. <laughs> So I hope you like this place. Give it a like if you liked it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. I think we've had people here dueling a couple of times using the arena. Dueling matches. Mm, it's not like Fallout 4 where you could stage fights in the arena, get various combatants. To have at each other with weapons of your choice. Mm, so, thank you for watching this, and thank you for staying this long. Help yourself at the bar. And see you again sometime. Thanks again for watching this. Bye bye.